All right, I'm going to show you the how uh, to register for the event and how to navigate at the event. So one of the first thing you would do is uh, register for the event. So let me go share my screen. On our event page, you will see an overview of the event and we will have a frequently asked questions right here, which will be expanded every month to accommodate any questions that is brought up uh, very often. Um, and then as you can see here, this is our schedule. So um, if you click on schedule, that brings you down to the schedule. And our tentative schedule is from 7 to 7.15 is where you go in and register uh, and update your profile. And then also the meet and greet. This is also an opportunity if you come a little bit early. We will be opening the doors, virtual doors, 15 minutes prior to the event. So it will be open at 645. So you're more than welcome to join prior to that, uh, prior to 7. And then um, this gives you an opportunity to meet and uh, greet other others that are there at the uh, at the. Uh, event and then at 7 to 15 is where we will welcome and introduce um, the people that we have invited the real estate professionals that we have invited to the event in this case uh, right now we have uh, these following uh, guests that are going to be coming to the event and just to let you know that we will be uh, bringing uh, new guest speakers um, they're not going to be speaking per se they are going to just introduce themselves and introduce their business as well, okay? So uh, if you would like to be um, uh, featured or would be uh, like to be invited to as a speak, uh, as a guest, then please um, uh, direct message me and we will send you the link to uh, register. So that way we can uh, see if you are right fit for um, our community. And then at 7.45, we will start the speed networking or the networking session. And that will um, go on for maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on how many people that are at the event. And then so 8.45, we'll do the, uh, the, the, uh, the final words. And also we'll be doing a bonus and uh, giveaways as well. And then once you're ready to go ahead and book your tickets, you can click on book tickets. There is also right besides that, if you want to add this event to your calendar, you have the ability to do that. And then right here is where you would click and book your event. So let's go ahead and book this event. And the reason why you want to book a ticket is because the early bird registration, which is uh, anytime uh, up to leading to the week before the week before the event is $5. And then the week of the event, it is $10. Um, just to let you know that uh, the week of the event, this $5 ticket will disappear. Okay. And so uh, we want to go ahead and uh, continue with the registration. And what you would do is you fill out all this information, um, including your name, email name. The more complete the uh, information you fill out now, the less you'll be, uh, the less you would have to provide in your update your profile when you get into the event. Uh, but what you want to make sure is you want to put in your profession, which is whether you are wholesale or rehabber. Um, this is if you're in multifamily, if you are a lender, whether you're a private lender or a hard money lender, if you're an attorney, a title or your others. Okay. Um, and then here, if it's other then you would put in, you know, maybe you're a property manager. And so you provide that information, whether you're an it could be an insurance agent. Uh, anything that is not within one of these listings, you would provide it here. Now, if you are a wholesaler, then you can just provide and put the same here as wholesaler. Okay. Organization would be your company name and you can provide your uh, company name if you have one. If you don't, you can leave that blank. And then please provide your cell phone number so that way uh, we use that to send the reminder text to you of the event and then here is your state this is the state that you reside or where your company resides or your farm area referral is if you were referred by somebody please provide their name and or email address we plan to use that in the future so that way we can um, ask 
you know, as an incentive to uh, refer other people, we're going to be utilizing that in the future. And then make sure when you fill out your billing address, please make sure that you fill it out completely. If you've previously registered for AirMeet, sometimes um, the system already knows that you've already have an account and in this case you will log in and put your password if you don't remember your password then what i would suggest is you uh, uh, reset your password by cl uh, clicking on this link and then you will reset your password and then you will log in and then you will go through the checkout process so once you click checkout you will go to the next screen where you will provide your credit card information once you once you've provided that information and you've made your payment, get a screen that will show you that you have purchased your ticket and you will get an email. This is the email that you will get. And in the email, um, if you have a Gmail, this has also a calendar setting so that you can uh, click yes and that will add that event to your calendar. Another way that you can uh, also add it to your calendar is if you go to the event, is where you could also add it to your calendar here which I showed previously. So as you enter the event you're going to come up with the screen using what we recommend is using Chrome browser. Um, Safari is not compatible just make sure that you use a Chrome uh, browser and before you get into the event I what you want to make sure is that you want to test your camera and see if it's work. For the purposes of this video my camera is not working with AirMeet because I'm actually using it for the recording of this video right here. But we want to make sure that the 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 um, the the, uh, the microphone and your speaker is working. And so what you want to do is you want to click test speaker and play the ringtone. And so you should be able to hear the ringtone. And if you hear it, you just say yes. And then to test out the mic. So if your mic is not working for whatever reason, you want to just make sure right here it says, I have seven microphones. And so you might be set on another mic. And in this case, as you can see, there's no level indicator. And so that mic is not working. And so you want to just go down and make sure that you're using the mic that you're going to be using. And so in this case, I'm using the Plantronic Black Wire. Um, and as you can see, the mic is now working. And so that means it is working. And now you can enter the venue. So we'll continue and then we'll go done and then we'll enter the venue. And so once you're in the venue, the first thing you want to do um, before we go into the layout of um, the, the, the venue, what we want to do is you want to go to the top right corner and click my profile. And in this profile, what you want to do is you want to click my complete profile and you want to go and make sure that you upload your image here. You want to go ahead and upload your photo and my photo is there. And then um, these are pro tips. People are more likely to reach out to your profile with pictures. Adding your interest in the profile shows people more about you and helps to get um, start meaningful conversation. So, you know, write in the description a little bit more about you. So that way, when people read it, they can see who you are. And that's a way for you to start a conversation. Okay. So here you will put in your organization, your state. You can also put in here, uh, of course, your introduction, um, who you are. So spend a couple of minutes and write a little bit of introduction about who you are. Um, uh, I would suggest that, you know, if uh, Rather than waiting for the event, sit down and, and, and uh, you know, spend uh, about five, 10 minutes even before the event to write something down um, and that you can utilize this profile, which should be, uh, should be available for the next event as well, okay? And then you can also add in here any interest and it will pull up with certain interests in here. And so you can pick from these choices as well, all right? And then here, you can add your LinkedIn, your Twitter, your Facebook, your Instagram, and also add your website as well. Okay. So in this case, let's just put in my LinkedIn.
okay and so when you're at this event this part right here where it says take a seat to join the conversation that is called the lounge area and so this is an area where you can join any of these tables and what you would do is you click join and in essence in, in essence now i have joined this table right and i'm going to just leave this area right up on top right here is the speed networking session and here is where you would go and when you click on that during the speed networking session you will get matched up with somebody in that speed networking session i i was just kicked out because i'm actually the only one here at this test event right here and so during this time you will go uh, and be matched with somebody and you will be given I believe three to four minutes for you to introduce who you are, what you do, how you can help. Um, and then the other person has the same opportunities so you'll each be given about two, um, two to three minutes during the session. The other things I would like to show you is if you click on this people tab right here, this should, will show you all of the people that are currently at the event. And if you go, over that person it actually has the, their information and you can click on here to see their full profile and you also have the ability to send them a direct message as well via the chat session the the message right here as, as, we, as you can see right and you have the ability to change it into a list view or a grid view. So if you want to see a more uh, a more full of uh, view, you can do that. You also have the ability to search people by their name as well. If, if, if there's a large number of people, you can also search by people. And then each, here is you have the ability to send a direct message um, this will show you any direct message sent to sent to you as well as direct message that you can potentially send uh, to, to, to the person that you are that you want to communicate with. Okay. Um, this will this alert will be anything that the host myself uh, wants to send any notification to everybody at the event. You'll see that alert right here. Now, the other thing that I would like to mention is that when you are part of this table, you have the ability. So everybody, sh you know, will have their camera on, hopefully. And then um, you have the ability here to change the way, um, depending upon uh, right now, I can't change it, but you have the ability to see how everybody's uh, range. If there's multiple people, if there's four people, then you can have it uh, this view where the main speaker, the person that's speaking will be uh, highlighted to the left. And then this is a spotlight view. This is uh, what's called active speaker view. And this is the spotlight view, right? And then within each, this is the gallery view. So this is where you have, um, I believe each table has up, you can have up to 15 people, I think 14 or something like that per table. Um, of course, that's going to be a little chaotic. So we always recommend maybe around four to five or six people per table, right? Um, then each table, you have the ability to have a private chat within the table. So if you want a message, you know, um, and this is very useful for somebody that doesn't have their mic is not working or their camera is not on, uh, more particularly for if somebody's mic is not working. So that way you can um, they can communicate with uh, somebody. Um, you can always also write in here if you need to send somebody a link or a reference, okay? And then there's also the people view, so that way that you know everybody that's at the table, they have their profile visible. So if you cl click on it, you can see their profile as well. And you have the ability to see um, more information about each of the person at the table so that way if you want to reach out to them you can do so before we end this video i want there's two things that we, i want to bring to your attention which is the schedule right here you can click on the schedule and you will be able to see our tentative schedule for the current uh, event 
the next thing that I would like to bring to your attention is the last table here, which right now is uh, shown as table five. Um, this will be your support. So uh, my manager or myself will be here in case you have any questions about the event or have any questions at all. Or if you want to just come and uh, introduce yourself to me or my community manager, uh, she will be there to take any questions that you may have or if you have any technical issues or uh, need any help, we're there uh, to help you. Now that you know the how of registering for the event and how to navigate the platform when you actually come to the event, I look forward to seeing you at our networking event and um, just thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you and connecting with you shortly. Bye now.